This is Nick Thompson in Louisville, Kentucky. How do you defend a foreclosure? What do you do when you get served with that paperwork? You have to make a decision. You have to make a decision. Do I want to keep this house or not? Okay. It's a financial decision. It's one of those decisions where you have to put your emotions aside and decide with a clear mind, what's best for me? What do I need to do? Sometimes you want to save the home. All you want to do is just catch up the mortgage. If you just need to catch up the mortgage because you had a temporary problem, geez, I was off work for three months because I broke a leg and now I'm back to work. I can catch up those payments easily. I'll just make a payment and a half in a chapter 13 until I can catch this up. If that's all you want to do, then you follow chapter 13, you catch it up. And as soon as you've caught it up, you may not need that chapter 13 anymore. But what if you don't want to keep the home? What if you just need time to find another place or you need to find time to, in order to cure the problem here? Well, you're in state court with a foreclosure and it takes time to process that foreclosure. During that period of time, you can be selling the home on the regular market. If you owe more than what the house is worth, you might try to do a short sale. If you are paying too much interest for this house, it may be that you're able to do a mortgage modification. If you fell behind and you'd like them to put the mortgage payments on the end of the loan, maybe you can do a workout agreement. But if you just sit there and you don't do anything, it's possible for that house to be foreclosed in just 90 days. You need time. How do you get time? Well, the big way to get time is to have a qualified attorney sue the bank back, file an answer, follow it up with discovery, make sure that the time that it takes to sell that home and to get that foreclosure process, that it takes six months, a year or two years. It may be if you're letting that house go back, you may want to file a chapter seven bankruptcy at the end of it anyway, because when that house does sell, if it doesn't sell for enough money to pay the mortgage, you've got a deficiency. You actually owe the mortgage company money. Many of the mortgage companies will not come after you for that deficiency, but there are a few that will. And sometimes you just don't know which one will and which won't. If you file a bankruptcy at the end of this period of time, then, well, now you don't owe that deficiency. You also don't owe the tax debt. If there's $50,000 that's left over at the end of that foreclosure process, after they were paid from the sale, but now there's this $50,000 left over, they turn in what's called a 1099 to the IRS that says, we want to take the tax break from that. We lost $50,000 and they made $50,000. Now, if you're in a 40% tax bracket, you now owe $20,000 to the IRS. I would have rather have been in the foreclosure. And what's the difference here? If you file bankruptcy, you won't be able to buy a house for about two years and get a mortgage. However, if you go through a foreclosure, it'll take three years before you can buy a house. The damage to your credit is often much greater in a foreclosure than it is in a bankruptcy. If you file a chapter 13, I have had people that actually financed and qualified for a mortgage while they were in the chapter 13. They've worked on their credit and our website talks about how you can work on your credit while you're in a chapter 13 I've had some people actually get their credit scores up to 720 and 725 while they were in a chapter 13 or qualify for a mortgage. Now, a lot of attorneys don't know the ins and outs of these, and we're not talking about everything that you can do today while you're in a chapter 13 or while a foreclosure is going on. This is a complicated process, and it's best if I sit down with somebody for an hour or two and plan this out. We're happy to do that. We do that for free. There's also information on my website. There's a free manual that you can download. You don't have to come in if you're afraid of doing that. But I think if you'll go through this, you'll see that we can provide you with those answers.
and I'm happy to do that. My name's Nick Thompson. I'm in Louisville, Kentucky, and I'll be happy to talk to you. Just come in, make that free appointment. Thank you.